Are you married? Are you single? Are you hoping to be married someday? One quick way to know that a man or woman is a narcissist is to watch their actions towards you. Do they see you as a priority or as an option? Are they using you? Do they have the same type of enthusiasm as you have? Are they happy when they see you? What about when it comes to love, to friendship? Do you joke and play with yourselves? Or the man or the woman is just hiding under the grace of God upon your life to get themselves to where they are going in life. And they have an agenda to abandon you, to dump you when the time comes. Do they have secret plans that God has revealed to you? And because you are a child of God, you are patient, you are humble, let them take everything they want to take. Let them satisfy their selfish, ungrateful ingratitudes. Let them satisfy themselves and leave you alone. At least they will leave you in the hands of God. Are you following what I'm saying? Do you have family members who are like that too? There are some family members that the only time when they remember that they are hungry is when they come out from foolish places that they have gone to. You see them in foolish, foolish gatherings. They are never productive. They never have a plan. They never sit down to think about their life. Always filled with entitlement. Like the narcissist is. They always think it is all about themselves. It's all about me, myself, and I. In church, they are like that. On the street, they are like that. Always competing, comparing themselves with people who have no business with them. Even when they have more than you, they will still compete and compare with you. Because they want to put you down. Narcissistic personality disorder is a very big problem in church. Always wanting to outshine somebody else. You see it all the time. It's a sickness, a disease. There are marriages currently as we speak. The wife is the one controlling the man. Excuse me. The woman is a witch. The man knows. But because he is a pastor, there's nothing he can do. He has to follow what the Bible says. Until the day he dies, he will die in silence. It's true. I've seen people like that in my generation. Listen to me. I'm praying for a brother that God will deliver him from something like that. I don't have to mention his name. He's a brother I love. You know, sometimes when people tell you certain things, don't do a video because of them. I have been doing this video about marriages, about people for years. People are dangerous. So give them position. Give them money. Give them power. Take them overseas. Show them the way and see their true character. Don't be surprised. Let them manifest who they are on time so that when they leave, you can have your peace. Romans 14 verse 17, a scripture I read on Sunday for the church. The kingdom of God is not in meat or in drinks. It's not in meat or in drinks. But it is in righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So let the narcissist manifest themselves. Most times, a narcissistic husband will do the same thing. They stonewall you. They brainwash you. They gaslight you. 
Same thing. The woman. Ah, it's time for us to go out and eat now. She said, no. Won't you follow me to church? No. Come now, let's have fun together. Ah, uh, I'm not in the mood. Ah, uh, excuse after excuse. You are not their priority. They have planned what they are going to do with their life. And you are not in the picture of it. So don't let it surprise you. Observe everything. Take yourself to God in prayer. Sit back, relax, and watch how God fights these battles for you. Remember that God cannot be mocked. God bless you.